Yeah, I mean, Madison's the big one to keep an eye on. We know Newcastle United really like him, and we'll look to bring him to St. James Park. And you mentioned they're being offered other players, and I guess that's one thing to really a marker for how far Newcastle United have come. You know, the, the fact that it wasn't too long ago they couldn't even get Hamza Chowdhury over the line, and now they're being offered, you know, world class players like. Uh, and Lucas Moura uh, and other players like that, players who are, you know, very good players and, and players and agents want to push them towards Newcastle. Yes, you know, because they think they might get paid a lot of money, but also because of the ambition and, of course, Champions League football. Oh, absolutely. I, I can imagine Dan Ashworth's phone is, is ringing off the hoop with agents trying to offload their products onto them. Um, as you mentioned there, some fantastic players out of contract this summer, which Newcastle should probably, you know, be having a look for just to try and save themselves and that transfer kitty. But yeah, I can imagine there's going to be a lot of European players that are maybe pushing for a new move. And all of a sudden, two years ago, Newcastle weren't even on the agenda. And now you never know. Um, but certainly Dan Ashworth's going to have to probably try and weed out which of the players are just being pushed for a payday and which of them are going to actually improve Eddie Howe's first team. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge, which I'm sure he will relish. Um, Liam Swan says, if we don't get James Madison, would you look at him at Traore? Now, I, funny enough, I did think about this last week. He came up in one of those kind of highlight reels. My first instinct is to say no, because we spend enough time talking about one inconsistent winger on, <laughs> on the left, and that's answer maximum. Do we want to sign another inconsistent winger? Um, I don't think so. No, and I think he would cost a lot of money as well. No, uh, he's not for me. He's, he's a very, very quick player. I love the fact that he bails uh, his arms every week. But I just think, yeah, he, one, he doesn't play in the same position as Madison. I think, two, you know, they're, they're pretty much stocked out wide. Unless, and I don't think Adam Troyer walks into that first team. Um, and he's just a little bit too inconsistent and doesn't really have an end product for me. Darren says, hope you get Madison over the line. He would add something different to the squad. Graham says, are the club playing the long game or is Eddie wanting players in it for pre-season? Realistically, though, how many do you think we'll have before the US tour? Uh, interesting question. I, I think they want to get their business done as early as possible because he wants the, the players to get settled into the squad. You'd ideally want them to be with you before you get off to the United States to help that team build in and that spirit. And um, Obviously, you know, a lot of players are on international duty. Um, but if they have to wait until the end of the window to get the players in, that's what they'll have to do. But I think in an ideal world, you'd have them signed in the first couple of weeks of the window, but we know it doesn't always work like that. We we saw last summer really both sides of the coin in the sense that before June had even ended, they had Nick Pope, Sven Botman and Matt Targa already into the club ready for the Austria pre-season training uh, camp. But then also Callum Wilson gets an injury in August and all of a sudden towards the back end of the window, you know, they can sort of find some money that they didn't previously think was available and, and go out and spend 58 million on Alexander Isaac. So I think in an ideal world, Eddie Howe will want two or three bodies in before they fly out to America next month. But also, you know, don't be alarmed if it drags on towards the end of the window. And like you say, anything can happen. With the season starting on the 12th of August, you know, there's plenty of time for players to get injured or, or whatever before, uh, before the, the window closes. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is that they've got a plan and they're very good at having a plan. And it's not like previously where they would get to the window and actually be scrapping around for some someone. You know, they, they, they know what they're doing. They'll have backups. They'll have B lists and C lists of quality players. So uh, I don't think you need to be fretting if um, things don't happen straight away.